This is a GCE L-Level Pure Physics Revision Series. In this video, we are going to discuss, important physics definitions that you must know before you take your exam. There are two chapters to cover. The chapters are, Chapter 10, Transfer of Thermal Energy. Chapter 11, Thermal Properties of Matter. This video is brought to you by, Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 10. Transfer of Thermal Energy the transfer of thermal energy always occurs from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature. When two objects in thermal contact are in thermal equilibrium, they have the same temperature. There are three processes of thermal energy transfer, which is conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy without any movement of the medium. Convection. Convection involves the movement of the fluid particles due to a change in the density of the fluid. Radiation Radiation is the transfer of thermal energy by electromagnetic waves. It can occur in the absence of a medium. The rate of thermal energy transfer by radiation depends on the color, texture, temperature and area of the surface. Chapter 11 Thermal Properties of Matter Internal Energy the internal energy of an object comprises of its total molecular potential energy and total molecular kinetic energy. The potential energy is due to the molecular bonds between the particles. The kinetic energy is due to the vibration of particles and is related to the temperature. Heat capacity. The heat capacity C of a substance is the amount of energy Q needed to raise its temperature theta by 1 Kelvin or 1 degree Celsius. Its formula is C equals Q over delta theta. Specific heat capacity. The specific heat capacity C of a substance is the amount of energy Q needed to raise its temperature theta of 1 kilogram of the object by 1 Kelvin or 1 degree Celsius. Its formula is C equals Q over M delta theta. Latent heat of fusion. The latent heat of fusion is the amount of energy needed for a substance to change from the solid to the liquid state without a change in temperature. Specific latent heat of fusion. The specific latent heat of fusion, LF, is the amount of energy needed to melt one kilogram of a substance. The total energy, Q, required to melt a substance of mass, M, can be calculated by the equation. Q equals MLF. Latent heat of vaporization. The latent heat of vaporization is the amount of energy needed for a substance to change from the liquid to the gas state without a change in temperature. Specific latent heat of vaporization. The specific latent heat of vaporization, LV, is the amount of energy needed to vaporize one kilogram of a substance. The total energy, Q, required to vaporize a substance of mass, M, can be calculated by the equation. Q equals MLV. Boiling and evaporation. Both boiling and evaporation are processes of vaporization. Boiling takes place throughout the liquid and occurs at the boiling point only. Evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid only and occurs at all temperatures. The rate of evaporation is higher when the temperature of the liquid is higher. The liquid has a lower boiling point. The liquid has a larger surface area exposed to the surrounding water. The surrounding air has a lower concentration of vapor molecules from the liquid. The surrounding air has a lower pressure. 
there is wind blowing on the liquid surface. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.